So this is a little bit of what the terrain looks like that we're going to be hiking at. We are at the base of the Kalapapa Trail just as you enter the uh, peninsula. And um, that's the ocean over there. And there's Pukahu, my dog. These are ancient rock walls that somebody made a long time ago. Um, I would guess they were like terraces of some sort for growing stuff. Here's more of them on this side. And heading up that way. There is a road over there leading to here. And there's all kinds of rock formation. Yeah, mosquitoes are eating. And the mosquitoes are eating Paula. You can still hear the ocean, so we're not that far in yet. And what we're hoping to find is maybe petroglyphs or some kind of ancient thing. Making our way over the rocky terrain. Kind of slippery. Okay, we are starting to climb up the side. Pokahu took off somewhere. I think he went looking for goats because I can hear goats now. So, we're making our way up the side here. like a trail, animal trail. We're just above the stream bed and I can smell flowers, really sweet flowers. You know why? Because over there is too steep. Come here. Here comes my sweetie. <laughs> Some Suriname trees. I'm gonna. I'm going to have Paula eat one. No. Just taste it. Why? It's poisonous? No. <laughs> is it sweet or is it sour? Or it's sour? <laughs> we made it on top of this little bluff. And um, Pokahu was already up here. <laughs> and on top of this little thing, look, there's a little... Um, let me get back further so you can see the whole thing. It's like a little um, enclosure, like a little, I don't know what it is, but it's definitely been here a long time, yeah. I don't know if you can see it, but this is uh, another rock formation of some sort, and nobody's been up here, so... There's a good chance nobody knows about it.
We are about 30 feet, 40 feet above the cream bed. This is, and there's the waterfall. See it? Paula, come over. You can see it. It's a two tier, maybe three. See if I can. Oh, yeah. There you go. It's now getting steeper as we're getting close to the uh, sea cliff, but it's also getting thicker. Yeah. Christmas berries, and there's more rock formation. We're gonna try to yeah. we're gonna try to work our way through there with expert guide leader Paula Bicoy Bicoy. We're crawling through the underbrush. <laughs> it's too tall. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> now look at, look where we are. We're in the middle of bushes. <sighs> we are now uh, what is referred to as scrambling. <laughs> Although we're not geared for that. <sighs> I guess, I guess that way. Okay. Yeah. This is the uh, base of the waterfall. I didn't uh, take too many footage because, man, it was slippery and dangerous. This is a three-tier waterfall. This is the bottom. And as you can see, there's not much water because it hasn't rained since a couple days ago. But uh, we almost gave up. And I'm glad we didn't because we're right there. And we had seven minutes to spare because we were going to turn around at 11 no matter what. Oh, oh look, coffee plants. Wild coffee. This is wild coffee, folks. Right there. I don't even know the name of this waterfall, folks, but there's a pool there. And this is the third tier of trees. I'm only guessing. I'd say it's like 150 to 175 feet high, this section right here. Can you imagine if this thing was cranking? I don't think we would have been able to make it up here. 